Dang, I got all that for $14.07. Like, look at this. Look at this, vehicles, action figures. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Final Faction fans, we've got some exciting news. Final Faction is hitting Dollar Tree shelves as we speak. Wave two is out. This is insane! And I am at my local Dollar Tree right now. So last year, I picked up some Final Faction figures and fell in love with them. Oh man, you are so in love, it is crazy. And now, wave two is hitting shelves. So there are, I believe, three figures and a vehicle. So let's head on in here to Dollar Tree and see what kind of goodies they got. And hopefully, the Dollar Tree gods are good to us today. We find us a little Final Faction. Let's check it out. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so who's it? This is Scope. Dig that name, man. So we got Scope. We got Torn. Very, very cool. And I do believe Trent. Oh, there he is, right there. Nice, look at that. All right, so I'm actually gonna pick up a couple of these. One set to keep on card and one set to open. Oh, and check this out. It looks like we got some new weapons packs. And yeah, we got some here as well. I don't know if these are new. Is this wave two or is this part of wave one still? Yeah, same with these ones here. I may just have to buy some extra accessories just to be on the safe side. All right, guys, I got wave two of Final Faction. This is awesome. So what I need to do now is look for the vehicle. I didn't see it here directly below the figures, but I'm gonna take a look around and maybe we can find this vehicle, this Final Faction vehicle. What are we doing over here? We just got some army guys. Oh, there's a Final Faction there, all steadfast. Here's a few more on the shelf, it looks like. So where is this car? Where's this, where's this, oh, oh there it is. It's, it's like right in front of my face. Oh, there we go, the Aero ATV, nice. Uh, okay, so it looks like we actually have, is this two vehicles? It's different packaging. Final Faction, cartoon detail on back, battle ready conversion kit. Oh, this is a good weapons and armor pack, I guess, huh? All right, let's get both of those. Man, there's nothing like scoring right out the gate. <laughs> the hunt is over already, so let's head back to the house and do a little show and tell. Dang, I got all that for $14.07. Like, look at this. Look at this. Vehicles, action figures. $14.07, man. Oh, man, as a kid, and even as an adult. But as a kid, like, this would have made my Christmas. All right, guys, here we go. Here is my final faction haul. So we're gonna open these bad boys up and take a little closer look at them. So let's start with the figures and then we'll do the vehicle with the weapons and armor accessories. So let's start with this guy right here. This is Scope. Let's bust him out of his plastic prison. I'll check this out. He actually comes with two guns. He's got some sort of backpack, or maybe this is, I think that's a backpack. I guess we'll open it up and find out. All right. If you recall from wave one, they have limited articulation, but I love it. It kind of reminds me of the old school vintage Star Wars figures. So let's see if we can pull him up to the camera here a little bit. Get a little closer look at him. So he's got this metallic paint on him and uh, his arms move forward and backwards. Same with his legs. That's the only articulation you really have. Oh, his head, his head does turn as well from side to side. He's got these cool sunglasses. And I don't know if that is his eyebrow or if it's like a birthmark or something. <laughs> so I think it's his eyebrow. 
but I guess the, you know, you're gonna find different paint variations. I, I think these are all, you know, uh, they're not put on, put on by machine necessarily. I think people just kind of slap some paint on them. I don't know. But this is, uh, this is scope. So we'll put some of his ammunition, some of his guns and stuff. We'll attach these. All right, hold up, time out. So I'm actually gonna switch gears a little bit and have Nicole work her videography magic instead of using this tripod behind me. I think it'll make for a much better experience. So let's get back to uh, reviewing these figures. Okay, so let's put his gun in his hand. Now that actually fits very loosely. That doesn't fit in there very well. So does it go in this hand? No, it doesn't. So we might need to like, just kind of like, oh yeah, so his hands are made of rubber. So we can kind of like squeeze them in a little bit and see if maybe he gets a little better grip. Not really, man, that sucks. How's he supposed to carry his weapons? Let's see if this, this probably isn't gonna fit at all. Well, he does have a trigger finger, so we can kind of put it oh, there you go. on the trigger good. there, yeah. And then this is his backpack. Backpack, backpack. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so I guess it kind of goes like that, maybe. All right. Yeah, so he's got cool. that. He's got this gun here as well. Let's see kinda if we can. Looks like you. Yeah, he does kind of look like me. Oh yeah, well, check that out. He's coming out, guns a blazing. We'll throw some sound effects in there or something. You know? so, put a little gun in the air. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so we've got scope. Right. Next up. We've got Torn. What I'm kind of curious to see is this guy actually looks like he's got two faces. Yeah, he's got a face on the back. I guess some sort of, oh, here's his hood. And then he's got his weapon, so. Oh, so he's got like, looks like swords or knives. Some sort of knife. Oh yeah, check that out. Oh, look at that. So he can turn his head around. Very cool. And then, yeah, and then we put his hat on. I'm assuming that goes on. Like, oh yeah, check that out. Very cool. It's like he's got like an alien face almost, or like a cyborg. He actually looks like it might be some oh, metal. Like those are circuits? Yeah, I think it might be like metal or something. Not so much circuits, but maybe just metal. It's pretty cool. And then let's see if these actually fit for his hands. No. Oh, I see. Maybe they go down in here. No. <laughs> that doesn't work either. What's going on, Torn? Hey, they want to be nice guys. They're dumb with violence. <laughs> <laughs> never this see, is, never this is 2021. We're done with violence. <laughs> He looks like a chef. Yeah, it looks like two spatulas. Time to get cool. All right, so let's turn his face around. We'll put his hat back on this way. And there's, there's the other look. All right, very cool. All right, up next, we've got Churro. This is the one that I've been anticipating. Like, I really wanted this figure. Um, when Wave 1 came out, I was like, man, they should have made the dog. And they made him for wave two. Oh, there we go. And let's take this out. And I think this little hatch, I'm, I'm assuming this little hatch opens. Oh, yeah, see? And then. Oh, and the baby puppy goes in there. So is the big one a robot or something? Yeah, the big one's like a robot. So he goes in like that, I guess. And uh, I like, like, look at his feet. They look like, okay. look like horses' hooves. Oh uh, yeah, it almost looks like uh, what's that horse in the mail? Ah, uh, the Trojan horse. Yeah, like with those big legs. Yeah. So it's does, cool. Does this guy go? How far down in does he go? I wonder. Can you put him in backwards like this, and maybe he gets a little deeper. Oh yeah, check it out. Look at him. There Aww. he is. Hey. And then you can close the hatch on. This is actually a really cool figure. I like it. <laughs> All right, so we got that. 
So up next, we've got the vehicles. So let's go ahead and start with the Aero ATV. Let's check that out. Let's open this up. Let's put it together. Uh, it nice. looks like, yeah, it's got some blueprints here. Yeah, we might have to pause the pause video and get and these bad boys together. Put these together, yes. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just open this up for a second. Hey, it's birth. Like a lot of little pieces. Yeah, there's several pieces there. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and pause the video. We'll pause the video, put this together, and then uh, we'll take a look at everything when it's all complete. Nice. All right, well, that was actually pretty quick. I put that together in what? Less three, than five minutes. Yeah, less yeah. than five minutes. And this is the vehicle, so hey, it looks like yeah. this wheel here ain't rolling as well. But it still rolls, yeah, but this one, maybe I have it snapped in a little too tight. Oh, yeah, well. Hey, roll it towards me. It's all, <laughs> it's all gimped up. Yeah, that's the thing too, it was only a dollar. So, okay, so we got that and then we've got these are more accessories that go onto the vehicle, I guess, to make it more badass. So oh, it's specifically for the Doom Buggy? Yeah, it's for the Doom oh, Buggy. Oh, okay. Okay, so here are the pieces. Oh, yeah, it's got it's guns, and here's a, they got these big, like... Oh, this is a battle-ready conversion kit. So yeah, so... It, when you're ready to go into battle, this is what you... Well, these guys are always ready for battle. So, oh, like, sorry. so this thing will be on 24-7. Oh, my bad. All right, so let me go ahead and put these together, and then we'll take a look at this. All ready for battle. This It's called the Arrow ATV, by the way. It's not a dune buggy. It's, <laughs> it's the Arrow ATV. So, all right. I gotta get away, car. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, check it out. Looks way meaner. Oh, it does. I know. The cool thing is, these things are only a dollar, so, like, if you wanted to buy something and customize them, yeah, that's fun. It, yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't cost a lot because, you know, it's a buck, you know, so you could, like, create a whole little fleet of vehicles. Yeah. This thing's pretty pimp awesome. Pimp them out and stuff. I do that. Yeah, I know, right? You could pimp them out. Like you could pimp make them, them silver and all kinds of yeah, stuff. Right? Or even paint like graffiti on them or something yeah, like that. That's cool. I need to make one gold. All right. So let's see if we can get one of these guys in the driver's seat. So let's use. Uh, I think this is scope. Oh, and check this out. Like you can actually. You can put them down in there. Check that out. They actually have working holsters. So you can put their guns oh, nice. in their holster. Yeah, how cool is that? Yeah, buck, right? I know, right? You can't beat it for a buck. All right, so let's go ahead and move him into the vehicle. Oh yeah, nice. He grips the oh, steering wheel. Oh yeah, check him out, man. He is oh, big yeah. pimping right now. Nice. And then they've got little stands here in the back. Oh, so the like buddies can little, hang on the back. Yeah, yeah, little pegs. So let's go ahead and put, put corn on the back. <laughs> got, the, you know, got the pistol grips on so this look, machine gun. It looks gun. just like the photo. Look at the photo. Mm. Look at your eyes. Wow. Like oh, man. All of that right there, $3. $3 for these three figures. I mean, how cool is that? And then add in churro. Oh, actually it was $4. Well, $4. But... No, because it was an extra dollar to add all the weapons. Oh, yes, yeah. right, yeah. So four bucks. So we're looking at $4, $5 yeah, right that's there total. That's awesome little set right there. It really is. All right, guys, so check this out. Torn, I had it all wrong. Check it out, his little spatulas go right there. There's little holes that insert 
on the side of his arms, of his forearm. So that is awesome. So he doesn't actually hold them in his hand, they just insert right there. But this is Final Faction Wave 2. We've got Torn, we've got Scope, and we've got Churro. I love the Churro pack, because it's like you get two toys in one, two figures in one pack. And check out his goofy eyes. It's all crazy, it's crazy eye. But man, yeah, this is awesome. And then of course, we have the Arrow ATV in the back with its battle armor on, ready to do some damage. And then up here with these, these big 60 guns, we've got the scope for zeroing in on our target. Again, you know, we're looking at $5 here. I mean, this, if I were a kid at Christmas time and my parents got this for me, I'd be ecstatic. I mean, I'm ecstatic now as an adult. These things are so cool. I love the metallic on their chest plates. And then also like down here, like on the boots, the metallic plates. I love this little compartment here in the back where Churro can sit inside this mechanical dog. Very, very happy with this score. Well, hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you're always first to be notified of the next episode. Also like and comment on this video. Let me know, are you collecting Final Faction? I highly recommend it. I mean, like again, you can't go wrong for a dollar. And the fact that these are only a dollar and you can customize them, like in the Final Faction Facebook group that I'm in, I'm seeing where guys are actually customizing the figures themselves, not just the vehicle, and making some really, really cool figures um, with these custom paint jobs and stuff. It's awesome. So let me know if you're a Final Faction collector. If you are, which figure is your favorite? Comment below. Also, give me a follow on Instagram and tickety talk at 80s Toys Rock. And Rock is spelled R O C. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.